In today's video, we're going to be comparing the Bordeaux and the Bull Mastiff. Both of these lovely breeds form close ties with their families and love to be affectionate. Let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bordeaux Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bordeaux, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Bordeaux. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Bordeaux, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll take a deeper look at the main difference between these two breeds. Let's dig right into each breed's history to get a better look at how our cherished modern canines were developed. The Bordeaux originated in France and as a large game and fighting dog. They are agile, quick and intimidating looking, despite their affectionate and gentle nature. Much of this ancient breed's history has been lost to time, but it's thought to be descendant of English Bulldogs and Mastiffs. They weren't well known outside of their home region, Aquitaine, until the late part of the 19th century when a dog show was held in Paris. This was the first time the breed was exhibited under its name Dog de Bordeaux. Like many breeds, they've suffered from dwindling numbers in both world wars, but this breed was especially impacted by World War II, as Hitler set out to destroy the breed. By the end of the war, there were less than 10 breeding pairs left. It was only thanks to extreme conservation efforts that the breed survived. The Bull Mastiff came about in the 17th and 18th century, though Mastiff-type dogs have been around for thousands of years. They were highly prized for hunting as well as guarding. Strong, powerful dogs were needed to help with game and to keep poachers at bay, which the Bull Mastiff was extremely good at. This breed in particular is thought to be a product of the Molossa and Alaunt being crossed with the Old English Bull Terrier. Not only were they good at hunting, but they were excellent at guarding livestock. Their role developed and expanded over time, and they've also been known to work with the police and military. Though for as old as this breed is, they weren't recognised as a breed until 1925. Moving along to appearance, you'll notice these dogs don't have much in common. The Bordeaux stands between 58 to 69 centimetres and weighs between 57 to 68 kilograms, while the Bull Mastiff stands between 61 to 69 centimetres tall and their weight ranges from 41 to 59 kilograms. Though their grooming needs are similar despite the differences in looks. Both breeds have a short, tight coat that's low maintenance when it comes to grooming. A weekly comb over with a brush or grooming mitt will do fine. The wrinkles of both dogs will need to be kept clean and dry, though it's especially important with the Bull Mastiff. They're especially prone to skin issues and it's all too easy for an infection to occur. This moves us on to trainability for each breed. Bordeaux are intelligent and quick to learn, though this means training needs to begin at an early age. A dog who picks up commands and good habits quickly is just as likely to pick up bad habits. They'll love to please and form strong bonds with their leader, which adds to the ease of training. They'll need a firm but fair hand and early socialisation to get the job done properly. These dogs will go from cute puppies to large and powerful in no time, so it's extremely important to set boundaries. The Bull Mastiff is also intelligent, but has a heavy independent streak, even as a puppy. Because of this, training needs to start early. They should be treated carefully, but always firm and fairly. A calm, consistent leader who understands their training needs is a must with this breed from the get-go. They should be taught clear boundaries early on and you should make note that it can be difficult to get a Bull Mastiff puppy to focus on training due to their independent nature. It also makes socialisation while they're younger a priority. These things combined makes them less than ideal for first-time owners. Both are wonderful dogs that love to be with their people and are devoted to their families. Bordeaux are known to be gentle, but may not be the best for families with smaller children. If only due to their size, it would be all too easy for an accident to happen. It's also important for playtime to be supervised as they can get overly excited and their strong instinct to protect can lead to misunderstandings. These dogs also have a very high prey drive and shouldn't be left with small animals that they don't know. But as always, socialisation is key. If a Bordeaux's grown up around a cat, they'll more than likely be fine with the cat, even if they wouldn't have a second thought about chasing one that belongs to the neighbour. Bull Mastiffs become extremely close and protective of their families. Supervision should always be had between this breed and toddlers or young children just in case. Puppies may also be too boisterous for small children and easily knock them over. With that said, this breed could do better with older children who understand how to properly behave around a dog. Though they do tend to become extremely protective of their families which can lead to trouble when someone comes to visit. But as long as they've been socialised properly and from a very young age, they'll tend 
tend to do well with other animals, though you should be careful when introducing them to ones they don't know. In either case, a family looking for an affectionate and dedicated companion will have one. Both dogs are better suited for families with older children and those that understand dogs who have a guarding instinct. Both breeds are relatively laid back, though the Bull Mastiff will need more exercise per day and will work in the training department. So overall, the Bull Mastiff may require more time and effort, but either will make a loving family companion for those that understand the breed's needs. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Bordeaux videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bordeaux Show.